Back here in Kenya, the Union of Kenya Civil Servants has called off its planned strike after government undertook to implement phase two of the collective bargaining agreement on salary increment. Public Service and Human Capital Development Cabinet Secretary Justin Muturi said that it will cost government 1.5 billion shillings. The Union Secretary General Tom Odege said that the salary increment will be backdated to July this year. It's about two months back and will enhance service delivery. Meanwhile, the Cabinet Secretary for Labor and Social Protection, Dr. Alfred Mutua, has announced a 6% minimum wage increment for Kenyan workers by October this year. Today, I want to announce officially that uh, the threat to go on strike is fully discarded because our interest and the reason why we were calling the strike has been fully fulfilled. And now we are looking forward. And I want to make a request to the minister that uh, the CBA we are implementing today has come to an end. And the beginning this financial year, we are allowed to open negotiations for a fresh uh, CBA. That um, collective bargaining agreement uh, is being implemented, was first implemented last year, last financial year, within the context of the financial year 22, 23, 24, and is supposed to be implemented also within the context, context of the financial year 23, 24, 25. And therefore it is up for full implementation. Consequently, our engagement with the National Treasury, and I must thank uh, the Honorable Tom Odege, uh, who has been working closely with us uh, in ensuring that um, every aspect of the CBA is honored by the national government. Therefore, the National Treasury has, at which I may, I may wish to announce, has um, agreed to, to provide resources for the payment of uh, civil servant salaries as per the terms contained in the collective bargaining agreement.